Dear colleagues, I want to share with you the, my experience with the latest clinical study, clinical outcomes and quality of vision associated with bilateral implantation of a wavefront shaping presbyopia correcting intraocular lens. Before going into the detail of this um, paper, I want to show you two small sketches, simple sketches. On the left-hand side, you see a sketch of the ideal EDOF, which could collect uh, visual rays into a narrow channel, thereby achieving a good depth of focus without disturbing optical side effects. Compared with the ideal situation on the left hand side, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, you see the actual new VVT lens. And it acts almost very similar to the ideal lens, creating a funnel or narrow channel of depth of focus, which then uh, gives you depth of focus with less visual disturbances compared to diffractive lenses. Now to the purpose of the study. We wanted to provide visual acuity and quality of vision data related to bilateral implantation or a wavefront shaping presbyopia correcting intraocular lens. 40 subjects were recruited and we tested manifest refraction, uncorrected distance visual acuity and best distance corrected visual acuity at near, intermediate and distance. On top of that, we tested binocular mesopic visual acuity at four meters and uncorrected photoptic low contrast at 25% visual acuity at four meters. And the latter with and without glare source. The subject reported a patient outcome questionnaire to evaluate the quality of vision subjectively. On top of that, we recorded defocus curve testing with and without simulated myopia in the non-dominant eye, but this has been reported in a previous published paper. Now to the results. We found no st statistically significant difference between uncorrected and distance corrected visual acuity at any distance. Mean logmar binocularly was minus 0 0.07 for distance at four meter, 0, 0.0 at 66 centimeter intermediate and plus 0 0.07 at near for 40 centimeters. Uncorrected photopic low contrast visual acuity was significantly better without glare, 0 0.09 compared to wind glare, 0 0.44. The reported glare halos and starbursts were all, were not at all, or a little bothersome for more than 95% of the subjects. Hazy vision and blurred vision were reported most often as optical side effects. So in conclusion, the Vivity IOL provided patients with good distance and intermediate and functional air vision with low reported bother from glare, halos, or starbursts. 